Let me close perhaps with two major points. Uh, number one is Adam Grant nails it. Adam Grant's one of my favorite guys. Uh, presumably you've had him on your show. Yeah, multiple times. But, yeah. When he says basically that the good guys, the givers, do the best and the worst. <laughs> uh, uh, they do the best when they surround themselves with other givers. Mm. Uh, they do the worst when they're surrounded by takers, and then they become chumps and doormats. Mm. So we can't just say be altruistic. We have to provide the social environment that allows altruism to succeed. And if you don't provide the social environment, then it's unethical for you to counsel people to be altruistic because you're just setting them up to be to be uh, yeah. exploited. Mm. So we have to create social environments that make it safe to be altruistic. At that point, then, we should encourage people to be altruistic. Probably we don't need to because it will have its own rewards. So, so uh, there's that point to be made. But there's another point that we haven't touched upon yet, which is that our social systems, even small ones, are very complex. And our large social systems, of course, are wickedly complex complex systems. And so what that means is when we decide to do anything motivated by any policy or ideology, political uh, worldview, um, it's going to have unforeseen consequences. Nobody is smart enough to know what's actually going to happen when we decide to do something. Nobody escapes from that complexity dilemma. Knowing that, there's two things that won't work and one thing that can work. Uh, one thing that won't work is centralized planning. And so the libertarians are right that the grand plan, the five-year plan, and so on, no, forget about it. Thank you, David. Thank you for yep. saying that. I can breathe easy. <laughs> I'm serious, because I think you're right. Yeah, and yeah. that's not even, that's not just, that's even true for a, cor a single corporation. Mm -hmm. If you look at the business literature, you'll find that their efforts at top-down planning uh, command and control basically doesn't work. Yep. Doesn't work either. So centralized planning won't work. The other thing that won't work is laissez-faire. The idea that if you do nothing, um, or just let you know let stuff happen, and that's somehow going to work, forget about it. Mm. And so the two sort of vulgar policy prescriptions that are talked about in in everyday uh, discourse: centralized planning and laissez-faire. Neither one are going to work. Well, what will work? Something in between. What that is, is basically a carefully managed process of cultural evolution. We decide to do things on the based on the best of our knowledge, and then we try it out in a cautious and highly systematic way, see if it works, and then we can implement or not, tinker, so on and so forth. So if you take a, a policy, for example, such as guaranteed basic income, then We'll never know if it works or not. We'll have our rationales and so on and so forth. Let's try it out and thank heavens that it is being tried out. Only then will we know. Mm. Only then will we know. Mm. And so it's at that point that you basically get beyond political ideologies and you enter into a space in which policymaking becomes scientific.